Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to edit portraits in Lightroom using the Purely Polished Collection for Lightroom 4 and 5. This collection has a bunch of presets and brushes so I'm going to be working with three different photos today to show you the versatility and the abundance of this collection. So let's get started. I'm going to start with this photo. Um, this is straight out of camera. It's slightly it might be slightly overexposed, but I'm just going to dive right into the editing and then we can fix that at the end. So I'm going to come over here to my presets and I'm going to come over here to the Purely Polished collection. And these presets right here are just, you know, presets to get your photo started, quick fixes and adjustments. So I'm going to just do some quick sharpening and maybe add a little vignette just to kind of bring some contrast into the photo and there's also I could do some quick white balance but the white balance looks pretty good I am going to just adjust it over here slightly make it a little bit warmer so that's a good start now I'm going to come down here to the base presets and I'm going to choose Purely Vibrant. This is going to really add a boost to my photos, make it really pop and stand out, which is the look that I'm going for in this photo. And then to top it off, I'm going to come down to the Purely Polished Effects, and these just add like little fun effects to your photos if you wish um, to use them afterwards. So I'm going to apply the Bright Pop, and that's just going to add some more light and um, drama to the photo. Now it is a little overexposed, it's a little too bright, so I'm just going to tone it down with the exposure just slightly. Okay, so it just took a couple seconds to edit this photo. You can see the before and after how using the presets from the Purely Polished collection has really made this photo stand out and really vibrant. Okay. Moving on to the next photo. As we move on to different photos, they're going to be a little bit more complex in the editing. Um, I'm going to show you some different brushes and brush techniques and whatnot. So this photo is actually not a photo of mine. It's from Chelsea Marie Photography. Thanks, Chelsea, for letting me use this photo. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to do the quick sharpen, add a little vignette and maybe add some color or I'm just gonna add BAM this kind of just makes it pop a little bit you can see how it just makes the colors and everything pop just a little bit and then I'm gonna come down to my base presets to apply my base um, let's do purely matte this kinda goes with Chelsea's uh, editing style anyways so as you can see, some of the highlights are a little blown out, and um, even the highlights on his cheeks are kind of getting too bright. So I'm going to just bump the exposure down slightly, and then I'm going to bump the highlights down just a little bit. And that's good. So this is a good start, a good base to start with. Um, I am going to come up here to the spot removal tool and I'm gonna work on this little area right here it looks like he c had like a little scab or something that I want to just remove really quick so I'm going to make sure that I'm in the heel area and I'm just gonna go over that doesn't have to be perfect but that's a good start okay so I think this looks pretty good but I would like to smooth out his face a little bit his skin tones a little blotchy um, so I'm gonna come over here to the adjustment brush and I'm gonna choose a brush out of the purely po polished brush collection I'm gonna come to the smooth skin and I'm just gonna smooth out his skin I don't want to add any color or any crazy effects I just want to make his skin a little bit smoother and I'm gonna adjust this in a minute I don't want him to look like a porcelain doll but I just wanted to kind of smooth out the 
imperfections in his skin just to make it look a little bit more youthful. And then I'm using my scroller on my mouse to um, make the brush smaller. Okay, so after I've gone over his face, I'm going to come over to the amount slider and I'm just going to adjust it. I don't want it if I were to go down here, you can't see any of the brushes, brush technique, but then I can go over here and you can see how much you can go. So I'm just going to leave it at about, I don't know, 23. That's good. It doesn't look too smooth, but it doesn't look uh, like we didn't do anything. So I also want to brighten up his eyes a little bit, make them more sharp. He's got beautiful eyes and beautiful catch lights, so I really want to enhance that. So after I'm done, I'm going to click on New, so I can choose a new brush. And I'm going to come down here to the Sharp Eyes brush, and this is also in the collection. Just This just kind of adds some sharpness to the eyes, makes them stand out a little bit more, makes them look a little bit more glossy. Oops. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so when I'm done, I'm just going to click done. And that was just a little bit more involved of a edit because we had to do some corrective things on his face. But here's the before and after just using the purely polished collection and the brushes. And we're coming to our third and final image. Now this one's, um, I'm going to use some more brushes on this one. This one's very underexposed. So what I'm going to start off by doing is just bringing up the exposure a little bit. And that's good to start with. If I need to do it more, I can do it more. So I'm just going to do my quick sharpen so I don't even have to come over here to sharpen anything. Maybe add a little vignette. And I'm going to choose a preset from the collection. I'm going to choose Purely Bright. I really love how it just brightens up the whole image. Now this is a really good start just with the presets and the exposure. But I do want to clean up her face a little bit. It was a very, very hot summer day. So um, everybody was sweaty and I just want to kind of bring some freshness to her face. So first I'm going to um, remove a couple of spots on her face. Everybody gets little spots when it's really hot outside. And so I'm just going to do this really quick. I'm in the heel tool and just going to kind of go over these really quick. Okay. So when I'm done, I'm going to just click out of that. Okay, great. Now I'm going to come over here to the adjustment brush and I'm going to choose, I'm going to start off using the powder brush. This just kind of smooths out the skin and also adds a really creamy uh, look to the skin like you're applying um, powder, like a makeup. So this might be too much, but I can always adjust it which I normally end up doing. So I'm just going to quickly go over her entire face. I don't want to lose too much of her complexion because she um, has a darker complexion. So I'm definitely going to be adjusting this. All right. I'm also going to go over the rest of her skin too, just to kind of make it look more uniform and make her look all polished up. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Now this is a little too much. It, you know, you can obviously see that it smoothed out the skin and also added this creamy brightness. So I'm just going to kind of tone it down a little bit, bring back her original complexion without it looking too over the top. So I think that looks pretty good, about a 57. I could up it a little bit, a 60. That looks great. Okay, so I'm gonna choose a new brush. 
and I'm going to add some um, color back into her face. So I'm going to choose the blush brush. And this is basically what it says. It's for blush, adding some pink in the face. Now this is a little too much, so I'm going to come over here. Now you don't see an amount slider for the blush brush because it's from a color. So I'm just going to pull the color down and kind of desaturate it. Pull it down towards the gray area. So I think that looks pretty good. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to go over here and close it out. And I think this looks great. I could enhance her eyes. Um, I'll show you one of um, another brush that we have, the green eyes brush, just to make her eyes stand out a little bit. So I'm going to, oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm just going to go over her eyes a little bit. Now this is going to be really green because she's got kind of like these really pretty blue-green eyes. And I'm going to do the same thing for this green eyes. I'm just going to kind of pull it down until it looks to where I want it to look. So I think that looks pretty good. Just kind of enhances her eyes a little bit, makes them pop and stand out. Okay, so there we go. I am done with the brushes. So you can see the before and after, you know, just with the exposure, the adjustment presets, and the brushes, how we were able to totally transform this image just in Lightroom. So I really encourage you, if you're not editing your portraits in Lightroom, that you give it a try because you can save so much time and you don't have to pull everything into Photoshop. So thanks for tuning in. I will leave a link to this collection in the description below. And if you like to get updated Lightroom tutorials, make sure you subscribe to our channel. So thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time.